Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let's talk about a big development in the sport of boxing that uh, is happening right now. Now you've heard of some of the big promoters in the sport, right? Don King, uh, Bob Arum, Golden Boy, right? Gary Shaw and Antonio Leonard, right? Main events. Now into this mix, you now have the entry of Jay-Z's Rock Nation Sports. Now understand they already have applied for their promotional license, right, in states like New York. Now understand, boxing has different roles, right? Fighters have managers. You may know the name Al Heyman, right? Fighters have managers who help obtain fights for them and who negotiate on their behalf with promoters and with networks. Showtime, HBO. But understand, the outfit that actually puts on the event, the outfit that's paying the rental fees for the venue, whether that venue is the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, whether it's Wembley in the UK, or whether it's Madison Square Garden in New York, right? The group that rents the venue and advertises or promotes the event, right, and pays for security and all of that are the promoters, right? I would argue there are fewer promoters out there than there are managers in the sport of boxing, right? It's a very important role. Now, many fighters have very close relationships with promoters. For example, right, you know Manny Pacquiao for years has had a very close promotional relationship with Bob Arum's top rank, right? So if you want Manny Pacquiao, right, to fight your fighter, you're going to have to deal with his promoter, right? That's the space in which Jay-Z is now stepping. Let me point out, I believe that the New York City market is underserved. You've had historically many great fighters come out of New York City, right? Uh, Riddick Bowe, uh, Shannon Briggs, uh, Mike Tyson. They're three recent heavyweight champs out of New York City. You can imagine if you start naming everyone out of New York City, Zab Judah, um, Sugar Ray Robinson, the Sugar Ray Robinson, right? They're a host of fighters out of that area. Now, I can tell you, I was raised in Queens, New York City. We always felt we were underserved, right? We always felt that there was a lot of local talent, but that there wasn't the infrastructure that you have around, let's say, Las Vegas, right? Understand, too, that the same mechanics that goes into putting on a successful music concert, right? Making sure the local fans know the event is happening. Making sure the venue is set up so that it best represents the event, right? In music, it's the sound system and all that other stuff, right? In sports, you want lighting, you want the ability to uh, have great sight lines, and of course, you know, the food. Right? You want to make sure that when you're at the event, you're not dying of thirst, you're not dying of hunger, right? You have access to bathrooms, you feel safe, there's security, right? The same logistics that would go into setting up a successful concert goes into putting on a great sporting event. Now, what people may not realize is that many folks in the music industry right? James Prince, Larry, uh, Al Heyman, now Jay-Z, 50 Cent, right? They've now migrated over to boxing, right? And so 
For those of you who may be skeptics, who may say, hey, Rock Nation Sports, what would a new promotional outfit know about putting on a successful promotion? I would argue a lot, right? Because, of course, Jay-Z is actively involved in touring as an artist. He knows exactly what it takes to sell out Madison Square Garden. He's done it several times, right? He has around him people who he knows and trusts who have experience in entertainment, right? Now, they have hired as their chief operating officer, David Iskowich. Understand, Iskowich used to work under Lou DiBella at HBO. In other words, he's someone who, of course, you know, has been involved in putting on sporting events for HBO and, of course, by being close to, you, to Lou DiBella who is very successful, right? He is the promoter for Sergio Martinez, right? Iskowich would have observed how DiBella dealt with other promoters in putting together an event. Understand, too, he's young. He's 39 years old. Youth sometimes is a major asset, right? It'll give these guys a greater opportunity to be able to talk to today's new group of fighters, right? There's a certain shared cultural experience that older people from, let's say, a generation prior to hip-hop might not fully grasp, right? So, keep an eye on what's going on here. Let's hope that the emergence of more players in the promotional sphere will actually lead to increased bidding for fighters and increase money for fighters. Because keep in mind, the people risking the most in the sport are those risking their health, right? Those who are in the ring dodging punches, trying to avoid getting knocked out, right? They're the people who should be the focal point of the sport. Keep an eye on the contracts. Keep an eye on the bidding for young future superstars. Understand, too, that boxing is now global, right? The Macau market, and understand Macau is bigger than Las Vegas in terms of the gambling money involved. The Macau market is nicely being groomed by Top Rank, right? Top Rank has a pay-per-view arm and they're making sure that they have distribution in Asia right understand just keep in mind that unlike other sports right boxing is global you have stars all over the globe you have different spheres of influence right Germany the United Kingdom Mexico Argentina Russia Right, So you should keep an eye on how these promoters deal with overseas markets. Understand, both 50 Cent and Jay-Z have toured globally. Right, Their emergence in the sport should be viewed from a global context. Also, pay close attention to the roles of the individuals. Some of these guys are managers. In other words... They're focused on negotiating contracts for their fighters, right, with promoters, right? Other players are on the other side of the table, right? So, top rank is Manny Pacquiao's promoter. They're not Manny Pacquiao's manager, right? You should pay attention to, right, who wears what hat. Also, Pay attention to the length of deals. What's been happening recently is that fighters with significant market power, think Floyd Mayweather, think middleweight champion and former Mayweather opponent Miguel Cotto, think Saul Alvarez, right? What these guys are doing is they're starting their own promotional companies and they're making sure that when they sign for fights, 
the fights are on a fight by fight basis, right? They understand that the fans are coming to see them because of their reputations and their past performance, not because of some promoters' advertisements for the current event, right? They don't need their careers groomed as much as, let's say, a young fighter who's 21, 22, who, as I like to say, can't turn heads at a mall, right? Keep an eye on the young guys. See how long the deals are they sign for, right? See who they sign with. Keep an eye on the networks they align themselves with also. Keep, a, keep an eye on how they're trying to connect directly with the fans without going through networks, right? Understand, you've had some internet promotions. Some promoters are figuring out that you can reach fans without having to go through pay per view networks, right? Traditional networks, Showtime or HBO, right? So boxing is changing as we know it. The older guard, think Don King, seems to be, you know, moving on, right? I know Don King is with Bermain Stavern, right? But just understand, just like Boxing's a young man's game. Understand, father time stops for no one. So some of these older promoters are going to move on, and you're going to have a new group that comes in. Keep an eye on Rock Nation Sports. They're one of the newest, right? Folks, my recommendation is that you take them seriously, right? Understand. While Rock Nation Sports may not have been involved in the boxing promotion business for a long time, they certainly have been involved, the people involved have been involved in entertainment promotion on a huge scale, selling out some of the most cherished venues globally for a long time, right? Keep an eye on the fighters they approach, the fighters they sign, the events they promote. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.